Good afternoon. I'm Yuki Washington. Hi, everybody. I'm Jessica Dean. We have several hours of snow to go, so hang in there. Meteorologist Kate Bylow is tracking the nor'easter from the CBS 3 Weather Center. And Kate, what is the latest? Well, Yuki and Jessica, the latest is that a band, one of the heaviest bands we've seen so far today, is now over Philadelphia and portions of South Jersey. So if you take a look at Storm Scan 3, you can see we are seeing the back edge of the snowfall. If you're in Chester County, if you're in parts of the Lehigh Valley, the heaviest snow for you is over. Same story with Delaware, but look at this band as we zoom in here. That's what Storm Scan 3 was just showing you a moment ago, lining up from portions of Bucks County right on down through Cumberland County, 295 along the Jersey Turnpike, right around the city of Philadelphia as well. Very, very slow conditions as you see that dark purple shading and this band is dumping some insane precipitation rates. It's just starting to push east of Center City, but still seeing some of the steadiest snow we've seen so far today, even over the city. And right now, as we zoom in on one particular spot, the precipitation rate 2.75 four inches per hour. So even if you get an hour of this band, that'll add an additional two to three inches of snow on top of what has already fallen. So snow total so far. Here we go. Huff's Church in Berks County, 8.2 inches of snow. Coatesville at eight inches. Oxford, Chester County, seven inches of snow. Newark at 6.6 .6, and Wilmington, Delaware at 5.1 inches of snow. And it's not over yet. Now for those areas off to the west that we mentioned, Chester County, Berks County, even up into the Lehigh Valley, the heaviest snow is over. The bullseye of this storm, instead of being the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos, going to end up being right just north and west or right along the I-95 corridor. Those are where some of the heaviest amounts are, especially when you factor in the snow that fell late last night into this morning. Chester County, Montgomery County, Delaware County, Philadelphia into Bucks counties. Still seeing that heavy snow right now, continuing through 4 p.m. By 5 o'clock, we start to see this band push a little further east. The back edge starts to push toward the city at 5. And then by 6 and 7, the storm is moving offshore. And once it wraps up, it will get out of here quickly, possibly just some lingering flakes behind the storm. But you can see by midnight, skies are clear. So that does bode well for getting out there, getting those roads cleared up for travel tomorrow. Although travel tomorrow in some of the hardest hit areas will still be a problem. What to expect through the rest of this afternoon and this evening? Snowfall rates one to two inches per hour. Isolated spots, as we just showed you, of snowfall rates up to three inches per hour. We've had reports of thunder snow as well. Now, keep in mind, if you're outside shoveling and you hear thunder, it's just like being out on a golf course in the summer when a thunderstorm comes through. Thunder means lightning, and it can be very dangerous. If you hear thunder, get inside immediately. Roads are completely snow covered, very hazardous to near impossible travel. The snow will exit between 5 and 7 p.m., depending on where you are, likely to be off the coast after about 7 o'clock. But we remain under a winter storm warning for our entire area, Philadelphia and all surrounding suburbs. That winter weather advisory extends toward the coast. The only areas not included in the advisory are Cape May County and Sussex County, Delaware. We are going to see that band push through the shore points, likely bringing a little bit of accumulation through the end of the storm. And visibility with that falling snow, very, very low. Visibility down to zero in Mount Pocono right now, half a mile in the city and down below a half mile in spots like Atlantic City and Trenton. So Again, regardless of how much snow falls in your backyard, do not try to go out in this unless you absolutely have to. Travel, as we'll show you, has been hazardous all day, and it's going to continue through the remainder of this evening. Coming up, Chelsea and I will have more on just how much snow has fallen, and we'll tell you about the forecast going forward into the weekend. For now, Jessica, back over to you. Okay, Kate, thank you.